Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Before we get into your reading, Aquarius, I want to apologize for the video quality. As you guys can see, I'm actually doing these recordings off of my laptop as I am currently charging my phone and it's just been a crazy, crazy chaotic type of day today. Um, and I have a lot of spell work to get done tonight. So I just wanted to make sure that I do all these recordings as soon as possible to give you guys the messages for the month of May 2018. Okay, so let's get into your reading. I've already shuffled the cards and shuffled them and uh, cut them for time purposes. So let's get right into your reading. Aquarius, in regards to how you will be communicating for the month of May 2018 with the element of air, you have... You have the two of wands and the two of wands is communicating. It could be communicating with people that are from a distance, um, whether it's for advice, whether it's uh, just to get a different perspective than from your own or, you know, sometimes we could be boxed in to certain type of scenarios or situations. Uh, and it is always refreshing to get other people's perspectives. The two of wands definitely does speak about uh, communicating or waiting for uh, news to come in for you guys. Uh, whether it's finances regarding relationships, um, business on the business front, whatever it may be, there's definitely messages coming through. A lot of quick communication as wants is very fiery type of energy. Um, but also, again, like I said, messages from abroad or people from a distance communicating with them as well. In regards to your finances, you have, you have the five of pentacles. And the five of pentacles could represent dealing with or having currently deal with having to deal with difficulties in regards to your finances, perhaps you're feeling a bit unstable more than usual, or perhaps a bit of blockages in regards to your finances. Five of Pentacles definitely talks about uh, being able to count your blessings, um, but also count your blessings in the sense of it's not so much about what you material, materially or materialistically have, but more so the things that are genuine to you and to your heart what you are very appreciative, whether it's family, whether it's children, uh, whether it's a be having a loving and supporting partner. Um, at the end of the day, everyone goes through difficulties um, at some point in our lives. And it is important, specifically important, when you're currently struggling with finances to actually be able to have a heart that is filled with gratitude. As the more you're thankful for the things that you have, whether it's the most simplistic things, uh, those are the simplistic things that matter the most. And I don't mean that in any disrespectful way. Uh, a lot of the times you can have abundance and growth, um, but sometimes in other areas of your life, you may find it a bit challenging. So now Spirit is telling you that for the month of May 2018, count your blessings, be thankful for what you have, and know and understand that you have the potential and the power to manifest abundance in the most... Um, in the most abundant and fruitful way. Remember, five is going towards the six of pentacles and the six of pentacles is definitely being able to have more than enough to share. So again, know and understand that you're about to have a breakthrough in regards to your finances. So keep positive. In regards to how you will be, uh, or the challenge for the month of May, 2018, the challenge is the karma card. So the karma card does definitely represent Having to deal with people from the past, people that may be reaching out to you, ex-partners, ex-lovers, um, people that you've worked for before in the past, even friends that you don't no longer communicate with. The karma card definitely signifies almost the evolution of Saturn going into Capricorn, so to speak. Um, having to revisit relationships or things that fell off without really having any closure are finally being able to close or give you that closure that is needed to be able to detach yourself from that, cut your ties from the past and be able to move forward. In regards to the um, the emotions, uh, in regards to emotions and the water element, you have the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles definitely talks about working towards achieving an, a goal in your partnership or whether it's uh, actually putting effort into meeting other people and going out. So for those of you guys that are single, uh, perhaps you've been too busy or focused at work. It is necessary for you to also maintain a social life. Put yourself out there. I guarantee you that if you stay home in the comfort, you will not find a person come knocking at your door. So you have to be open and you have to be optimistic about being social once in a blue moon. It's necessary and it's also good for your for your health, health-wise. 
uh, it's always good to be able to actually communicate with other people. So try not try the best you can not to just overwork yourself and expect, you know, to meet a person without really doing the effort of going out and um, taking on new social events or being more social more than anything. For those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, the Eight of Pentacles definitely talks about putting the effort into making the relationship more long-lasting or wanting to find the stability. If you guys have been having a bit of a rocky type of connection uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, both of you guys are definitely, for the month of May, going to be putting the extra effort into making and being able to find the stability and commonality or common ground in your partnership. Finally, the card that is your spirit's advice for the month of May 2018, you have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands definitely talks about, again, I feel that for some of you guys, Aquarians out there, you may be thinking about traveling or you may be wanting to travel or go to a place perhaps that you've never been before, um, whether it's through vacation or whether it's connected to money and finances, your business or something like that. Um, I definitely do see that happening in the month of May, but I feel that it's going to be for the end of May or start planning towards the end of May to actually travel or to actually go out there uh, on a road trip or something like that, because I definitely do see travel for you guys for the month of May 2018. As a spirit's advice with the Three of Wands, Three of Wands is actually being able to come together. Um, and again, like I said, uh, take on a road trip or some type of spontaneous type of thing uh, or theme, I should say. Uh, but it may be connected. Um, you know, it is, you know, your spirit's advice is be open more than anything. If you have friends that spontaneously message you and they're like, you know, there's this social thing happening. We should go try the best you can to get out of your comfort zone as blessings will come from that as well. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, comment, share. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? And I'll see you guys at the middle of the month. Bye.